Hello again, this is Nasser and we're gonna continue the web automation testing tutorials. Today, we're gonna take BDD and JBehave concept and standard. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about what's BDD, what BDD used for, the standards and examples, definition of JBehave, and JBehave structure. Well, it's also known as a behavior-driven development. BDD is a process designed to aid the management and the delivery of software development project by improving communication between engineers and business professionals. In so doing, BDD ensures all development projects remain focused on delivering what the business actually needs, while meeting all requirements of the user. What BDD is actually used for? Well, as we said, BDD invented to solve some particular communication problem between business and developers, let's say engineers. And the way to solve this problem is by communicating, by using communication ways, something like example. So what actually happened here is, the business professional comes up with business ideas they want to realize in real life, and they usually communicate in form of requirement. So, before we continue, let's call the automation engineer, the developers, the QA, all of them are the developers, okay? Then the developers transform this requirement into language that they can comprehend and understand. And they do that by parsing it to a machine language. And this we call it coding. So, for example, if the business master tells the developers they want something, and the developers hear it correctly, but they apply it wrong. This might take a long time to spot the error. So to solve this problem, they create a feedback loop between the developers and the business masters. The developers can ask examples for the new requirement. And if anything went wrong, they can fix it in 10 weeks. Well, as we talk early about example, it could take a different form depending on the business and the nature of language it creates. The most common and adopted format, which is also known as Gherkin, is given, when, then, which is the format you will see most used by the BDD community. It follows as a very simple structure agreement. So let's take a closer look here. What's given? Given gonna describe the initial context for the example. When gonna describe the action that the actor in the system or stakeholders perform. And then, going to describe the expected outcomes of their action. And still there is something missing. Is AND. AND is step starting with AND assume the same meaning of the previous step. We are going to use this a lot. So let's now take a real example about, let's say, a refunded shirt and the return policy. The scenario says, the refunded shirt should be returned to stock. As we explained previously about the keywords, we need to find the initial context for the example, the action, the expected outcomes. We're gonna say, given a customer previously bought a shirt, when he returns the shirt for refunded, then I should have a return shirt in stock, and and the customer should have refunded. This is a very simple example, but how are we gonna use it in automation? Well, here we're gonna talk about JBehave. Well, if you don't want to end up something like this, regretting the contribution between you and the developers, BDD encourages you to start defining the stories via scenarios that express the desired behavior in a textual format. We can define that JBehave is a BDD tool for Java. It will parse the scenario from story files, map them to Java code, and run them via JUnit test and generate reports. And happily, you will end up something like this. We need guns when you have JBehave. But to get this more clearly, we're gonna start defining the keywords, what they mean. You're gonna be really familiar because you're gonna use them really a lot in JBehave. We're gonna start by story. A story is a collection of scenarios, 
each detailing different example of the behavior of a given increment of functional of the system. As you can see here, the scenario is written up there, and the other keywords is explaining. It's only a plain text. You're not gonna use any word of coding in here. Second is mapping steps to Java. Here you can see some code and some textual formats. Well, Java maps textual steps to Java methods via candidate steps. JBehave used method connotation in Java classes to associate an executable Java method to a step candidate. Each step candidate corresponded to one Java method and to one step type. You can see here we've declared a given and we write the same exact text. Be careful guys here because maybe you're gonna use uppercase and lowercase and this is gonna make really difference in JBehave. You must use the same textual format, the same uppercase, the same words, because this is not going to continue really well. And a really good thing here, we can declare parameters by using dollar sign before the word. We can see price. Before price, we put in the initial words dollar sign price, and we use it as a parameter to pass variables and values. And then, and then we write the assertion. Here we test our result, if it came up right or something went wrong. Then, configure your story. JBehave allows many different ways to configure embeddable Java classes that allow the parsing and running of textual stories. Then, the view reports. Story reporting allows to monitor the outcome of the source of the story that have been run. Here we can see the real result of our work. How the scenario comes up, if anything is going wrong, if the given didn't work, if they were bending code, everything is going to show up here. So don't worry. I hope you can find this video helpful for you and thank you for watching.